Okay, this is my second video uh, that I'm producing on the TC Helicon uh, Play Acoustic to help uh, newbies kind of get their, find their way around, get situated, figure out what they're doing. And actually, this is more mainly to help you uh, more customize and tweak some of the settings. You know, there are over 100 settings on here, and over 100 effects, I should say, presets. But you can take any one of these presets, tweak them a little bit to your liking, and save them as your own custom uh, effect, uh, which I've done quite a bit. So I don't I don't use too many of the um, presets that are on here. I do use a few, uh, like in the air tonight. I use that one. Uh, Behind blue eyes, our band does that one, and they work pretty well for what they're made for. But those are kind of overblown, overproduced type uh, effects. But I just like some basic harmonies on most of the things I do. A little bit of reverb. So I've taken uh, some of these standard uh, presets. I've tweaked them a little bit to how I would like them, how I think they sound best, and then I've renamed them and saved them. And I'm going to show you a little bit how to do that. So I'm just going to take this basic one, take it easy right here. And again, if I, you know, we can cycle up and down using the buttons, the stomp buttons on the box, the up and down arrows will take you through and cycle you through like I'm doing right now. And of course, they each one sounds a little bit different. Uh, but I'm going to take this back down and just kind of work with this uh, take it easy uh, setting. So in order to make a change to it, if you want to tweak it a little bit, do something a little bit different with it, all you need to do is go to this vocal effects. This is going to affect your vocal settings right here. Uh, and so by pressing that, you can see a different screen comes up. Now, uh, what you'll also notice here on the screen, it says two out of seven pages here at the top, right? See two of seven? There are actually seven different pages of effects here. So if I go through here, I can cycle page three of seven, four of seven. Uh, this one has my reverb. Uh, this one has an auto tune. This one has a like a megaphone sound, pretty annoying. I uh, don't even know what this one is. There's a lot of them I don't really fool with too much. Uh, but the main ones I kind of deal with are harmonies and some reverb a little bit. That's just kind of the basics. That's pretty much all you need in most cases, unless you want to go over the top. So, now, just to point out and start out too, uh, each one of these different effects with these presets, there are three different settings you can do with these. This one happens to be the harmony, right? And the harmony is according to what this button says, is on hit, which means uh, there are three different things you can do. Let me just go through those, first of all. So first of all, you can leave the effect completely off all the time. You don't want it on it ever, just leave it off. And most of them are set to be off, I believe. And so you don't want them on, you don't want to use them, don't want to fool with them, just leave them that way. Or you can also set them to on. If you turn this little button, it uh, means they're on all the time. And now the harmony <laughs> is on. Uh, and what that means, so if I'm gonna set it that way, excuse me, Turn this off. Uh, so I'm going to set it that way. That means like reverb, for instance. I use reverb and always have it on because I want the reverb on for my vocals. I want the reverb on for my harmonies when I do my hit. Uh, so the hit button that you have on there is going to activate any that you have set to, to come on when you hit your button. So either you have them off or you're going to add off all the time, on all the time, or come on when I hit the button. That's how you remember how you're presetting these. So remember each one of these buttons corresponds to these settings, okay? So we've got a few different settings that we can do. Uh, here's the level. So for instance, on the harmonies, um, I've got a level. And why do you have a harmony level? Well, that's because, you know, you gotta think about backup singers. If you're singing, you don't want your backup singers overpowering you, their background, right? So what you want your harmonies to do is be subtle enough where you can hear them, uh, not too faint, but not too overpowering. So you're going to have to decide by tweaking the level. And again, you can use this little knob to tweak your level up and down. Uh, you can see here how it's changing the value. It's going to more dBs. Uh, you can do more or less, quieter, louder. So you need to just kind of go through and sing and practice and uh, you know see what sounds good with your harmonies. Get that right blend with your voice, uh, whatever volume you want. And then... Uh, you know, you can save, store your settings. We'll talk about that in a minute. Um, so this one, I turned it back off, but I'm gonna turn these to uh, 
What I want to do with harmonies then usually is have it on hit, which means they're off until I hit the hit button down this stomp pedal, the bottom right. So we're going to have all of our reverb, we're going to have all of our cool sound, and then when I want to kick in my backup singers, bam, you hit your hit button, that's when this particular one's going to activate right now. Now, in order to change, uh, again, from your screens here, from your harmonies, you got to hit the mix button over on this side that corresponds to this menu. Remember, these three correspond to these menus. This one on the left that's lit up corresponds to this menu. And what you can do, you also have different, not only just pages, you also have different harmonies because I'm on the harmony page. Down here at the bottom, I'm highlighting, and you can see as I change it, there are a lot of different options for harmonies. So you have, uh, they're gender specific too. So you have the tie and the uh, hair. So you may have a male on the lower, it looks like, and a female on the higher. Now you've got a female on the higher and not sure what that is on the lower. Um, anyway, so you can go through and tweak these. Uh, so this is two females. I use this a lot of times to have like the two female backup singers, right? And so you can kick those on uh, when you hit this should come on. Where's my hit? How come it's not hitting? I want to hear that. Uh, nonetheless, it should be on my hit control. Okay. Well, should be on, but I'm, I'm hearing a little bit. My level's too low, so I'm going to increase my level. Let me show you how to increase the level. Increase, increase. Oh, now I can really hear it a lot because I just increased my level. I'm going to bring it back down. Ah! Okay, so that's what you can do. Now I'm gonna take this back off, turn my hit button back off. So your harmonies, you generally want to, when you set them, you just want them on hit because you don't want harmonies on all the time, obviously. So let's move on from harmony. Let's go to, uh, let's see if I can find something else, we'll move to the next page. So the next page is your Doubling style, if you don't know what doubling is, that's like having a second voice. I don't typically do that either. Some songs may have that effect, uh, which this, you can set the parameters for your doubling. You want a loose doubling, like a sloppy second voice behind you, or do you want it real tight, like right, right there with you? Uh, so that gives you some options. Again, I don't use this one much, but that's what doubling is. It gives you a second vocal sort of, a second voice just repeats your voice uh, right with you as if you recorded two tracks. Here's delay, in case you wanna do a delay, like a really funky echo type thing. Again, don't use this much. Uh, I'm sure it's in some of the ones that I use, like In the Air Tonight, it's probably on that. Uh, reverb is something I do use, and I certainly wanna pay attention to. So you've got different, here again, here's your level. You can set how much intense reverb do I want, right? Uh, decay means how quickly it closes out, you can leave it long, like it echoes for a long time, or you just make it echo for a little bit. That's what your decay is, is how quickly it cuts off. Again, uh, right here, it's on all the time. So I typically want reverb on all the time. I want it when I'm singing my lead vocal or whatnot, and then of course, if I want those backup singers, I want them to have reverb as well. So I'm gonna leave those on all the time. And so if we go back over here, we have different reverb settings. So there's different types of reverb. So we got a, a quick plate, and that just means like having like an echo plate in front of your face. And then you got a big hall. So if I'm in this big hall, whoa, this is huge. It's like a big cave. I'm gonna turn up the, listen as I turn it up. Whoa, this place is huge, right? So we keep going, got a soft hall. I've got a, another home, Broadway. Hey, I'm on Broadway. Uh, I've got a little bit of room, a little room that I'm in. It's kind of echoing. Um, oh, wait, we're in the library. We've got to be quiet. got to whisper. Let's get out of the library. Anyway, so there's a lot of different things here that you can tweak and do. Uh, a lot of different settings to work with. So I'm going to go with, let's just go back to soft hall, quick plate, jazz plate. Again, just go through and play with these uh, and see which one works best for you. And speaking of that, I want to talk a little bit about playing with your settings here because as you tweak these settings and play with them, feel free to do that. You can go play with any of these settings like I'm doing right now and you won't disturb anything or mess anything up. You're free to experiment 
Because as long as you don't do not hit the store button, you're not saving these settings. So you can go play with it. You don't like it, just get back out, and it'll kill all the settings that the tweaking that you've done. Right? If you want to store it, want to save it, I'll show you how to do that in just a minute. Um, you can you can also do that as well. So get in here and play with it. See what you think. See what you like. See what you don't like, and uh, kind of work with that. So we got all these different pages in here, right? Um, you got your auto tune I'm not going to play with, or the megaphone, any of that kind of thing. So let's just come back out of this. All right, so we're back to our original setting. Actually, it has saved, it still has some of the settings in it that I've tweaked um, because I haven't stored it or done anything with it yet. But if I were to go, for instance, to drop down to this next setting, easy flat switch echoes, and come back up, come back, come back. So now I'm back to the take it easy setting. It doesn't have any of the changes that I just made. I didn't save anything, but it will save them temporarily until you change to another preset or another setting, right? So uh, you can dink around with it, hear how it sounds, make all these tweaks and changes. If you don't like them, just switch over, back out. Oh, when I say back out, I mean hit your back button, come back out of your settings and just go to another preset and boom, they're gone, okay? Um, all right, so I'm hoping this kind of helps you a little bit with some of the things you've been doing. So for instance, let's say we did make some changes that we like. I want to save this as my own setting. So what you'll do is before you come out of anything with all your, your changes made, you want to hit your store button because I want to store it somewhere, right? Now if you look, what it does, it defaults to allow you to change the name of the thing. So come over here to, your, to this button over by the left. And now you can choose new letters. So if I want to change the name, look, I can change any of the letters I want. Uh, I'll put like custom on here, right? Come down here to C. Oops. Then I'll go to the next one. Make that a U. Flip through here, right? So I can change these any way I want. And I can name it custom. I can name it whatever. Uh, I have some that I call double highs, you know, high, high. I have one called a low high. Uh, so I know what harmonies they are. Anyway, so once you make those changes, don't come out yet, don't save anything, because then what you want to do is you want to come over here, punch this button, and decide what slot you want to put your new uh, changes in. So your new custom uh, setting. You can store it, right? These are all numbered or go from one to, I don't know, 100 or whatever they are. And so I can come over here and decide which one of these I want to replace. So it's gonna replace one of these presets. And so, you know, if I wanted it to be my first setting down here, see there's one of mine, the fill high and low. Uh, so you can come down here and decide which particular spot you want it to be. And then when you hit store, which I am not gonna do right now because I don't wanna save all these changes, you hit that, you're gonna have yourself a new setting, new parameter on here. So I'm just gonna come back out and see it save some of my goofy changes. But watch this, if I come back down to this one and just come right back up to where I was, right here, none of my changes were saved because I did not store them, but you certainly can store them, okay? All right, so I hope this helps you out, gives you enough information to work with to kind of tweak things, play around and get you up and running. I certainly wish I had this sort of instruction when I first got mine because manuals just don't do it for me. I like to have somebody walk me through it and, uh, yeah, hopefully it works out for you, and all I say is rock on.